Okay, then we move on to the appearance. What we, when the items are displayed on the page, it's uh, displayed in a template form. Um, you know, it's th it's the layout that the way the uh, ads are shown, and I'll I'll show you the examples when we get to that part. I've created a few defaults right now, and I'm going to add a couple more in here shortly for the uh, next update. We have list. That's my uh, standard one I always use. The, if you're familiar with, uh, actually, if you're familiar with PHP Bay or uh, Mage, the way it pulls eBay items, that would be more like the classic, where it's really just showing the title and it has a more info button than that will bring in the description and stuff. Uh, grid is uh, a column without the uh, descriptions. It goes across however many columns you select here. Three or four is generally what's needed to uh, fit across. If it goes into your sidebars, you just lower this uh, some. If I had a uh, site with uh, two sidebars and it w extended too far, so you just lower the columns uh, down if you choose grid. And list is the one where this my generic one. Uh, that's the one I like the most. It uh, shows a thumbnail. All of them show a thumbnail, uh, the title, and uh, this one also includes the description and everything. Sorting. I always do by relevance. Uh, that's uh, the best sort to use. Right now, the best selling and worst selling is not functioning on the prosperant side. They used to have that, and they said they're going to put it back on. So right now, I've left it in here because it should operate the same once they fix the problems they were having with it. Their data is updating so quickly that it wasn't working uh, right for them uh, with their data set, so they had to remove that. Uh, it is a dynamic database that we're searching on their end, so which means that if an item is out of stock or no longer being sold, it will no longer be displayed on your page. So it's always good. We will never have uh, quote unquote bad items. Uh, I have clicked through to a couple of times and, and an item is out of stock but that should be corrected within a day. If that's the case and it's not fixed, it's not on the end of the plugin, it's on their end. You could contact them and tell them which items and they can uh, clean up their database a little more. But I use relevance. Uh, you could go with highest price if you want to show high price or lowest price if you want the low stuff, but I just don't think that that's going to be the best. Uh, we've added this option in here, use replace price. So if you don't want to show the price for the people, you can turn this on. And what I always do is I tell them to uh, click for price. And uh, what that does is you're enticing them to click. They're clicking to find out what the price is. That takes them to the merchant site, and now you've laid your cookie onto their computer, so if they buy, you will get the sale. Uh, there's also, they can click the image, they can click the title, they can, there's many ways for them to click through, but I like having the click for price on to get them to entice them to go through to the merchant site. So remember, when these cookies are dropped, it's normally a 30 to 60 day cookie. So uh, that means that if they go back to that site anytime in 30 to 60 days, whatever the merchant program sets, that you will get a commission for the sale. And it's not even necessarily the product that you sent them to the site on, it's on any product they buy. Uh, you know, and, and you might say, oh, well, they might not come back to buy something. But think about this. Uh, how about if you're... Uh, have a site on auto parts and they're looking for a part for their car and they click through to check the price and they don't buy that but tomorrow they need to come back and buy another part they might go back to that same car part store and buy a different part or next week or something so the chances of them coming back uh, it could happen and uh, you know does happen a lot of the uh, higher priced items it takes up to 16 days for the average person to make the uh, sale 
or to purchase the item after they've clicked through. So, you know, having these cookies set is really important. The final template that's here is custom, and that's using these two input boxes right here. Right now, it's set to just show you what every single field does, and it's pretty wordy, pretty ugly, but it's just showing you that you can use a custom template using any of these variables here inside the template, and it shows you how you do it. So if you want to know the affiliate URL, you know, you would put an href with that command in it. Uh, the keyword is also the title. You would use this. If you want to show the large image, it's this. If you want to show the thumbnail, you would use this uh, command. Using those, you can do your own HTML layout however you want it to look. You can also add your own custom CSS to this layout. Uh, so that's a little more advanced. You don't have to use it. And then uh, remember this setting page is all about your defaults. All of these options can be changed on each usage of the uh, short code that calls the ads. I'll explain that more in a minute. So uh, the next one we have here is pagination. Uh, if you turn this on, what that means is underneath the ads, it will have show page list. And then they can flip through. And I've seen as much as like 20, 30 pages for some items. And they can flip through and look at more ads and more ads and more ads. Um, I don't tend to use that. Uh, I don't... Uh, really care for it that much. Some people like it. I know it's PHP Bay. I believe it is that people uh, use that a lot. So it's an option. You can turn it on if you like it. Uh, as for the links, you can have them no follow, which is on by default. You can have them open in a new window, which is on by default. You can turn those off if you don't believe in doing that. Uh, this option here, use cloaking. I always turn it on, but by default it's off got to remember what cloaking means here. People think that, oh, they hear the word cloaking and they think that it's bad. No, it's not bad. Uh, WordPress by default, if you use a permalink, is doing a form of cloaking to a different location. It's not anything bad. What it's doing is, if I'll show you on the page, is it's making the URLs that are going to the of merchants look like they're on your site. And you can change here what directory you want that to appear in. I, uh, right now, by default, it goes to the directory store. Uh, I don't recommend using a, a directory like Prosperant or something because you don't want to really show totally what you're doing. Uh, most, most users, when they go to your website, won't know. But if they go over the link, it will always, you know, sh when you go over a link, it shows at the bottom where the link's going. And uh, that's why we want it to show on their site. We want it to show that they're staying on the site, but it will actually flip them to the merchant using your affiliate link. So I like turning that on. So these are the defaults that I want to use. So I'm going to uh, save this. Look it over one more time. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, go off, uh, we'll start a new video on how to now use Prosperant on your pages.